Uh, so students, I have already uploaded a video uh, for the calculation of uh, resistance and Galvan resistance and figure of merit uh, by using the half deflection method in a galvanometer. So uh, the experimental setup and uh, the details, uh, uh, how will you take the readings, everything I have uploaded uh, a practical uh, a video I have uploaded already. So today what we will do, why uh, I, I am uh, making this video because um, some of the derivations we required that we have not done in that video that uh, the galvanometer resistance G equal to Rs by R minus S and uh, the figure of merit that K that is E by R plus G uh, multiplied by theta. So we have not uh, uh, we have used the formula directly there we have not derived it. So in the theory uh, you need to write the derivations also if possible or you can write the formula directly also no issue but you should know that uh, how this uh, formula uh, from where this formula came right. So this is the circuit diagram here a battery is there and uh, this is the R that is uh, a resistance box basi basically. So this current from here will flow through this right and this is your galvanometer resistance Z and galvanometer so the current will pass through this and we will keep another key here which will name K2 this one is K1 this is plus minus so current will flow like this and if IG current will flow through this branch so I minus IG current will flow through this I think this is clear to all of you the circuit diagram and the currents. So now our target is to find out the resistance or to derive the uh, to get the value of this resistance that is Rs uh, by R minus S. So how will you do just simple your uh, calculation from the current and uh, yeah from the current uh, parallel connection current from that connection uh, that concept you can find out the uh, resistance value G. So we know that uh, from Ohm's law we know that uh, and using Ohm's law we can find out that uh, the current let us say I does here the current I is flowing so current I does will be ok. So let us do two situation first, first situation is that uh, K2 open uh, step 1 that we will do that is uh, K2 open. So K2 open K1 close right K2 open K1 close K K2 open K1 closed. So for this condition what will happen no current will flow through this only the current will flow through this galvanometer. So in this case what is the total resistance R plus G R here whatever you will take out from the resistance box and G is the galvanometer resistance. So from Ohm's law your current will be in this case current will be the voltage by resistance. So let us say the voltage of this EMF is E uh, the powers that we are providing source right the source voltage is E. So voltage by uh, what is the resistance resistance is R plus G. So this is the current that I that will flow that will flow when K2 open that means no current is flowing through this forget about this only the current is coming from here and passing through the galvanometer. Now we know that when current will flow through the galvanometer there will be deflection in the needle galvanometer will have a needle so needle will have deflection right the more, more current will flow more deflection will be there. So that is what we know that I is proportional to theta theta is the number of the deflection. So I will be equal to K theta K is the proportionality constant that is called figure of merit right this one is called figure of merit K is figure of merit this is your figure of merit that we are supposed to calculate and theta is the this deflection I is the current flowing through it E and R plus G. Now the problem is then uh, you can ask sir why, why do you need this uh, then uh, parallel connection of S uh, because we do not know G 
right we know the galvanometer resistance g so first our task is to calculate the galvanometer constant g then only we will put the value of g and we will calculate a, uh, calculate the value uh, calculate the value of k figure of merit s also we can calculate so this is i that when what is i i is the current that will flow when remember k2 k2 open k1 close this one is close so current will flow through the this one now what we'll do we'll press k2 now the current some of the current will bypass so in the junction some current will come through this some current will come to the down right so, so current will flow through this also now this one will not be same i so new i will get i will be modified the current now let's say when this current is passing through this and new resistance is also there s will be another resistance right so when s will be the new resistance and um, the current will start flowing through it so let's say in that case the current will find out so step or yeah step 2 you can write this is the case 2 or next second step so second step what will happen both close k2 closed k1 also closed both closed case that means the current is flowing through this also and this also right so in this case what will do so in this case the current will be modified so let's say the current is i dus now resistance also modified r and s are H, g and s are parallel and with that r is series so what will be total resistance in this circuit then your voltage divided by this total resistance will give you the current i dus right current i dus is the current which when the current the k2 is closed and k1 is also closed so current is flowing through both the branch so what will be this current as i told you the total voltage that is e and total resistance what will be total resistance r plus this parallel combination r plus parallel combination what will be parallel combination of two equivalent resistance of two resistor you know from uh, your parallel combination right one by s plus one by z i am not doing that this one you know right this one you know this is one by s plus one by z this is by one by r equivalent this one these two are parallel or you can say r equivalent equal to this one lcm so it will go up S, sg by s plus g this is your equivalent resistance of this parallel this one is with series with this one so we can write r plus r plus sg by s plus g done so this is your i dash now we can little bit simplify and write this take uh, sg common so the denominator will go up so I can write S plus G and here it will be R into S plus G. The LCM is R S plus G, right? So this one will be multiplied with R plus S G. So this is your I dash we are getting. The current when both the keys are closed, right? Now what fraction of this current will pass through this galvanometer that is IG, what will be IG? Now you know that this one is also one proof is there or you know that if i current is flowing through this i current is flowing suppose this is a general circuit right if this is a, a battery this is a resistor now i another resistor is there in parallel so if it r1 this is r2 this is voltage v current i is flowing so what amount of current will pass through this r1 now you can easily prove this i am not doing the proof if uh, anyone if you are finding that it is confusing or you do not know you comment right i'll make another bit short video on this that how what fraction of current will pass through r1 now what fraction of current will pass through r1 now it will be i into let's say i dash will pass through this one or i1 so i dash let's say or i1 whatever you name i1 will be i into i1 will be i into this uh, second one r2 divided by r1 plus r2 
this one you remember the opposite resistance divided by sum of the resistance right if the, what will be the current here i2 uh, r1 divided by r1 plus r2 opposite resistance by r1 plus r2 so this is the uh, formula you know that what fraction of current will pass through a resistor if they are connected in parallel so here also the resistors are connected in parallel so what fraction of this i dash will flow through this galvanometer now we will adjust this s in such a way that right the galvanometer will show a deflection theta by 2 the galvanometer will show the deflection theta by 2 right this is our adjustment we will make the adjustment will choose s in such a way that this will be theta by 2 so we'll use that later so first what fraction will pass through it now let's say i1 dash will pass through it. this one ig or when this is i dash so this one i1 dash so i1 dash will pass through this galvanometer so what will be i1 dash as for, for our formula we can write that what we can write uh, this is I dash multiplied by what I told the opposite resistance by sum of the resistance. So that is S by S plus C. This is the fraction of the current will flow through this galvanometer. And when this we, we have already have to I told you that we have already chosen S in such a way that the galvanometer deflection will be theta by 2 right the galvan measure initial case it was theta deflection now we we'll choose this s in such a way that it will be theta by it will be half theta the deflection will be half so this is the called the half deflection method right why we will do we will just you will see that the expression will be like uh, we will get a good expression so i dash so now just put this value of i dash here so it will be e s plus g and this is r s plus g plus s g multiplied by s by s plus g okay so this is your i dash and this one equal to you can write k into this current i dash which when it will pass through galvanometer i already told that it will show the deflection we will adjust s in such a way that it will show half deflection so that k it will be proportional to k times theta by 2 this current will be proportional to k theta by 2. So now you can write that just you uh, cancel s plus g l s plus g cancelled out. So what you will get e s e s by r into s plus g plus s g equal to k theta 2 I will cross multiply so 2 e s. Now let us say this is equation number 2, this is your equation number 1 that i equal to k theta also we got i dash equal to something this one equal to k theta so right side equal so we can write the left side also equal so what we can write from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 what we can write your e by r plus g is equal to 2 E S by R S plus G plus S G. Okay. Now E E get cancelled. E E get cancelled. Cross multiply. What you will get? This one cross multiply. So 2 S 2 S and this is G. So 2 S or uh, 2 S r plus g equal to cross multiply r into s plus g plus s g okay, plus s g now what we will we'll get from here we will get this expression so we will re rearrange in such a way that this g will be separated right so we will do this 2 s r 2sg equal to just I am opening up the bracket rs plus rg plus sg. So, 
R S or S R. If I will take to left side, the two S R minus S R, it will become S R. So I am writing directly S R plus S G. This S G, if I will take to right side, so it will become S G equal to R G. Right. So now what I'll do? Now come to here. Now we got this one. That S R plus S G equal to R G. Right. Yes. S R plus S G equal to R G. Now we need G. So I'll take to right side S G so that uh, the variable will be separated. So now S R equal to R G. Minus S G, right? So you take G common, G common. So it will become uh, yeah. So it will become S R G common R minus S G common. So somewhere we have. Uh, somewhere we have done the mistake. Maybe e by r plus z equal to two e s by r plus s plus z is z. It's correct. It's correct. Uh, okay. And uh, g equal to s r by r minus s. What we are getting? Ah, yes. Yes, we are getting already the equation. Yeah, it's correct only. No mistake. Yeah. So uh, expression is s r. Ah, uh, it's R S I S R. No issue. It's correct only. So G equal to just you divide S R or R S, whatever you write. This is R minus S. Now you got the galvanometer resistance. K value easily you can find out. Right, one step derivation for K. I can write here. No space for K. So K equal to is it visible or it's out of the Camera limit yes. So k equal to what is k? K equal to i by theta, right? I equal to k theta, right? So k equal to i by theta, i by theta, and i what is i? I is your e by r plus z. So directly you can write here. Here only you can write k equal to e by r plus z into theta. This is done, right? But this g Value you have to first calculate, right? Using this experiment, once z is calculated, you can put the value of g and you can find out k. So from here only directly from equation one you can find. This is from one directly you can find k equal to e by r plus z theta. This is already there. No such proof from required. This is already there. So I think the derivation is clear to you, and this step, if you do not understand that, when the parallel uh, resistors are connected, resistors are connected parallelly, then the current will be divided like this way, I into opposite resistance by R1 plus R2. If you uh, you can do one, once the calculation, if you find any difficulty, you can write in the comment box. I will uh, make another video that. Uh, Deriving that how this expression comes out, it's not very difficult. Just a little bit of calculation. So uh, let us stop here, and if you require any uh, help for this practical, you can ask uh, in the comment. And uh, for viva questions also, uh, I, I am planning in December some of the uh, experiments viva also I'll upload. Thank you for watching.